prior to do any knee rehabilitation training. Even if I was recovering from a knee injury, a knee surgery, I would still want to be doing range of motion exercises and that might be the first phase of actually uh, rehabilitating myself back so I can do stability training and then finally strength training and then finally uh, introducing myself back into classes. I think there needs to be that, that time. Same with shoulders, same thing. You know, mobility work, stability work, strength work, and then in, introduce myself back into um, some type of movement practice such as our classes at my five. So let's go calf up on top of the foam roller. Alexa, set alarm for one minute. One minute, starting now. All right, let's take a foot up on top. And I'm just gonna roll back and forth. Nice and easy, same drill. We, we kind of talked about this last week. Really put some extra weight down on that calf. And then this foot is gonna be pulling and pointing, pulling and pointing. But I just like to load just a little bit more weight on that calf. And just go back and forth. You know, maybe drink some coffee while you're doing it. Oh, I'm, uh, oh, I'm already out. There's a spot right there. So pull, point, pull, point, do that. And then a big circle. And then a circle the other way. Okay, make sure you're getting the lateral portion as well. Check that out. Okay, Alexa, stop. Alexa, set alarm for one minute. Let's go to the other leg. Let's go to the other leg timer. One minute, starting now. <laughs> Alexa, stop. I'm telling you, I think, I think she's learning way too much about me. She's probably ordering things that I don't know about. Hopefully it's gonna be a nice day. I kinda wanna get outside. But you see this technique as well. So. Even rolling back and forth in this kind of this cross fiber technique, I'm just checking. I would do this even if I didn't have a, an injury or a dysfunction or any pain. I'd be doing this anyway. I'd just be doing it faster. And that's where I always you know, say two minutes or change. Spend time on the area, two minutes or you got change. If you got change in 30 seconds, move on. Good to go. All right, now, the rule is, if we mobilize it, then we, Alexa, stop. We, okay, let's go to the other leg. Hey, all right, she was even telling me to go to the other leg. Then we stretch it. So what I want you guys to do now is find something. This works the best, this little dowel right here. What you're gonna do is you're gonna put yourself in a position. Get all this stuff. Okay, hopefully you can see this. I got my foot, I'm gonna place my dowel right by my pinky toe. So I'm gonna be in this configuration right here. This is going to be calf stretching so I can improve my lunge and my squat better. I wanna spend some time right here. Now why am I tracking my knee to the outside? It's a good question. So what I want to be able to do is go all the way down into the stretch without my heel coming up off the ground. So some of you might be really tight right here. Tracking the knee outside only offers the foot not to collapse. So you're kind of training your body when you go down into any knee flexion movement that you're not collapsing in that foot. So you're kind of training your body to do what you want it to do when it sees this position again. And it's going to see this position in lunging and it's going to see this position in squatting. So I'm coming down and I'm just want to you know, hold this end range and I can just hold on to my dowel and stretch. Alexa, set alarm for one minute. One minute, 
Starting now. And I'm just gonna hang out. And I might, if it gets uncomfortable, just pop out of it, readjust, and then come right back down into the stretch. You know from doing our test before what ankle is tighter. So the rule here would be you're just going to spend a little bit more time. You're going to spend just a little bit more time on the one that's tight. Okay? So let's go ahead and switch. I think I beat Alexa to it. And sometimes you, you, you need... Um, you need less than a minute. I'm just, or as a rule of thumb, this one's not tight at all. So I probably don't need to spend a lot of time, but for you guys, go ahead. Spend some time right there. Alexa, stop. So we're roughly gonna go a minute. And I can always pop back and realign. Now, if, if you're somebody that can't Get that knee outside of the dowel. Like I said, you're gonna put the dowel right on your pinky toe, and then you wanna track that knee outside, and that's gonna, not only is it gonna help your foot stay in a stable position, but it's gonna probably be the exact same tracking that you come and use when you're squatting. So this is just a good drill to do. If you have like a kettlebell, I could load this stretch. I could put a kettlebell right up on top of here and then drive into this stretch and then hold the end range. Now here's something for you. This is a dry erase marker. I'm gonna put that dry erase marker right underneath my arch of my foot, okay? Now what that's doing is it's gonna give me feedback. It's gonna give me feedback on am I collapsing my arch when I go down into ankle dorsiflexion movement patterns, such as lunging or such as squatting. So I got that in there and it probably works better on a, on a flat surface, but it's still gonna give me feedback here. So when I go down, and if I need a dowel, I'll do it. But when I go down into this, I can, I can, I can, feel, I can feel that marker but I'm not crushing it. I'm not collapsing on it. So I know my foot is going through a little bit of pronation, but I'm not collapsing it. The drill here is to not drive down into that marker. So I'm trying to keep, I'm trying to keep my foot arch while I go down into this movement. And I guess we're working both mobility and stability in this drill. Going back and forth. And it's just a nice little kind of feedback drill. So you know that you would be a candidate possibly for um, the right orthotics, the right shoe. Um, do you need like, I guess, foot strengthening drills? Um, these are all questions that we would want to answer. But if you're completely collapsing, um, definitely I would want to be doing some single leg balance exercises. Just an easy one right off the bat. If you're trying to strengthen up your feet, would grab some type of unstable surface like this. Grab a pencil or some type of uh, degree of quality device, such as this dry erase marker. Put it right underneath your arch of your foot. And then I'm honestly getting feedback when I'm doing single leg balance. Am I collapsing always? in my arch or am I able to keep that arch in the right spot? Now I wanna be able to go and do different movement patterns and I'm always keeping that foot arch nice and stable. So that's just one of them. You can do that on a, on a, on a stable surface or an unstable surface, but either way you'll come out of it strengthening up your feet. So. We've talked about big toe, we've talked about foot. We're moving on, um, I guess we've talked about the ankle. Um, biggest takeaways with the ankle is check both the anterior and the posterior of the calf tissue. Um, one more stretch. This is my wall or something. I wanna put a foot up too, and then I wanna take my hip 
like someone's pulling me nice and close. And I know probably all of you have done this stretch to some degree, but what you probably haven't done, and I'm going to put on a shoe just so I don't slip, is when you do this drill, and usually when we do this drill at the gym, it's like up against the column on one of the squat racks. So I got my column, I grab onto it, I put my foot up to here. The closer I can get my heel to the column, the better. If I'm way out here, I'm just kind of just stretching out my big toe, which is cool, but this stretch is meant for the calf. All right, so what we want to do is not only drive, I'm going to show for the camera, not only am I driving straight on to the column, I want to take on this plane of motion and this plane of motion right here. Even though this isn't, isn't a position that we would want to load, typically we still want to have it. We still want to have this. And what I'm getting here is a lot of arch in my foot stretch. So you might notice a really good stretch in the arch when you drive your knee in. Okay, and PS, all of this stuff is having an effect on those of you who have maybe knee pain. In fact, if I roll out my feet and roll out my calves and go through the stretches afterwards, and then I'm, I go back to where we started, where I go through that range of motion test, or the overhead squat assessment, go ahead and, when we've done enough mobility now, go ahead and test your overhead squat again. See if, your, see if your knees and calves and feet feel better at this point. Um, go ahead and test that single leg. You know, I got, I, I got that knee kind of going in, but if I'm aware, um, I, can, I can measure that. So go ahead and, um, oh, the biofeedback. See if this improved. Mine definitely improved. I'm not feeling anything until here now. And whereas before, I was right up by the shoelaces. So go ahead and do your toe touch test real quick. See if you're already improving there. 